Hello, interwebs. This is Friday, September 22nd, 2017. I told you last week, Big 12 weekly previews coming from now on, along with the Texas previews. And Texas doesn't play this week, so there's no point in doing Texas one. So if you're looking for it, it doesn't exist. They have a bye. So does Kansas State. They have a bye, too. But Big 12 games this week. I'm just going to talk about them, say how I feel about them. That sounds weird. Talk about them, predict them, talk about them. I'm not being repetitive. You're being repetitive. Um, so first, Texas Tech plays at Houston. Um, they don't have um, – Houston no longer has Tom Herman as a coach. I don't know where he went. Um, yeah, I really don't know where he went. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, they play at 11 a.m. on ABC or ESPN2. One of those. It's in Houston. Houston. Um, I think that it'll be, it should be a high scoring game, but that in the end, Houston will pull away and ended up winning by 10 or more points. Uh, just because Tech's defense is not great, they allowed 45 against Arizona State. I mean, they beat Eastern Washington 56 10, but that's Eastern Washington. So, um, you know, they played Arizona State. They almost let them get back in the game, and they had to get a go-ahead touchdown with about a minute and a half left, so that's a little bad for them. So I really just see Houston going, pulling away. Kyle Allen as their quarterback. He used to play for Texas A&M and um, transferred to Houston. So, yeah, that's how I feel about that first game. Second game, West Virginia at Kansas on ESPNU at 11 a.m. I mean, I, I don't really have to talk about this one. It's Kansas. If you don't get what I'm saying, I'm saying West Virginia is going to win by a lot of points. Uh, uh, I'm going to skip that one. I'm going to talk about that. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now. So for the game of the week, the matchup of the week, I'll, talk, I'll go into more depth about that. Uh, this one, if there was a way that both of these teams could lose like in this game that'd be awesome but it can't happen which sucks but it 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 has to happen Oklahoma at Baylor um so yeah I don't want either of them to win um but let's be honest for real for real now um Oklahoma's gonna win by a lot Baylor's not good Oklahoma's pretty they're they're okay I guess um so yeah Oklahoma is just gonna overwhelm Baylor and win by a lot of points. Like I said about the West Virginia. If you want specifics, I'll go for specifics. So Houston Tech, Houston will win. Um, let's say forty-five thirty-five. Yeah, I like that. That's a good one. Uh, I thought about the West Virginia Kansas fifty-five to ten. Uh, Oklahoma Baylor sixty-six to seven. No, we'll give Baylor. We'll give Baylor a little bit of. We'll give them some credit. We'll give them a fifty-two to seven. Yeah, fifty-two to seven. All right. So, the big game of the week is number sixteen TCU at number six Oklahoma State. Um, stake. Uh, obviously TCU starting off three and zero. They won at Arkansas. They won against SMU. Good for them. They beat SMU and they beat some. D3 school or something. I don't know if they're actually D3, but point is they're not big and they're not a threat. Oklahoma State, they have played at Pitt. They won that pretty pretty easily, I guess. I guess 50-something points is a blowout. Um, then they beat two other teams that are not that good. Let's see. Yeah, it's Tulsa and South Alabama. So, Oklahoma State, they're at home. Um, they have Mason Rudolph and James Washington. That's a good connection. Um, they have Hill at the running back. He's averaging 83 yards a game, 12.3 carries. He has three touchdowns. But um, then TCU, they have Kenny Hill. And they have, uh, yeah. So, what I think is going to happen, I feel like TCU can keep it close in the first three quarters probably. But just because Oklahoma State's at home, they have Rudolph and Washington and Hill. They just, they're just going to overpower. Oh, that was a voice crack. They're going to overpower TCU and just end up pulling away. So um, I think that first quarter, it'll be tight. It'll be 
tied or one score. Second quarter tied or one score. Third quarter, I think. Oh, Ohio State, Oklahoma State will be up by a touchdown, and then fourth quarter they'll get up by two touchdowns and a field goal, so 17 points, and then TCU will score late, try to get the onside kick, and will fail uh, to get that, which will Oklahoma State will be able to run out the clock. Um, so I have them winning 31-21. Uh, Oklahoma State, they they're just they got a lot of momentum. They got a lot of confidence right now. They're at home. I just don't see a way that TCU can beat them. Uh, I feel like they, TCU can keep it close, but I just don't think they can beat them. They got a decent deep. They got pretty good defense. TCU does, but uh, I just don't think that, that. I just don't think that they're going to be able to keep up. And I just don't think TCU's offense has enough firepower to overtake Oklahoma State's defense and then just to outscore Oklahoma State. So that's at two thirty on ESPN tomorrow. Um, not much more to say on that. That was the matchup of the week: Oklahoma State, TCU, Kansas, Texas, uh, Kansas State, Texas are off, and then Houston. For, I have Houston winning, and then um, Houston's not in the Big Twelve. Before you freak out, uh, Houston's not in the Big Twelve, but I have them winning, and then I have um, West Virginia, West Virginia, and Oklahoma. So yeah, that's my Big Twelve prediction for the week. That's that's all I got. For that, uh, I'll figure out where, where um, what's his fate? Where Tom Herman went? I'll I'll try to figure that out. Okay, yeah.